this is Rich and um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, something I think will be interesting and exciting I'm not sure um, but uh, <clears throat> it's going to be about creating script binds meaning you're going to be able to um, extend your functionality with Lua um, I don't think there's really been a tutorial, actual extensive tutorial done on script binding and I figured this out a little while ago uh, not too long ago and I figured I'd do a <clears throat> damn a tutorial on uh, script binding uh, and some general C++ stuff now I haven't done um, some of the stuff I'm doing today uh, beforehand um, usually when I do tutorials I do, I do the stuff to know that I know how to do it before, so I don't look like an idiot um, but today we're actually gonna do it on the fly so maybe you guys can see exactly how I do things even though I don't know what to do uh, well I know what to do but you know I don't have everything planned out so you're gonna be able to see a little bit of my workflow on how I see things um, and how I do things without already knowing how to do them. Um, so we're going to create a little script bind here today. And what script binding is, is it allows you to write uh, functionality, variables, and um, uh, functions inside of uh, C++ and then use Lua. Uh, we all know that Lua has a, uh, interp it's an interpretive language, uh, it's scripting language. And what it means is that it doesn't need to compile, it means uh, the program uh, reads the code um, in real time as it interprets what it says as it goes through line by line and so it's, uh, it has the ability of being able to um, change the code and immediately see the effect without having to compile which is really cool that's why CryEngine included uh, Lua into uh, Crytek included Lua to CryEngine and you're gonna be able to uh, those of you who do Lua uh, quite a bit uh, will like this because <clears throat> it will extend your functionality in Lua and technically uh, you can do make a whole game with Lua if you're using a lot of script binds. I mean, it, is, it gets some controversy there, but you can probably make a whole game extensively with uh, Lua if you're using uh, script binding in that respect. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> I got, don't really got anything planned. Uh, I'm just going to go over how to create a script bind from start to finish, um, and also using uh, calling the functions inside of Lua, uh, as well as having the uh, function interact with our game. Uh, something very simple, but uh, it's going to be nice. And like I said, I didn't do this beforehand, so I'm doing it on the fly. So let's go ahead and open up our solution for my RTS game. <coughs> and it can kind of problem needs to close. All right, I'm going to shut off the video and see if I can fix this up. Um, I'm going to pause it, and it's going to be a new video um, to extend this. Hold on. Bye. Be right back.